If you're new to my YouTube channel, please click that subscribe button and remember to click the bell icon to get notifications of all my uploads throughout the week. Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So I have another handmade journal to share with you today. Now this is a commission for a lovely lady up in Scotland called Elizabeth, who asked me to create a journal, a doggy themed journal. Um, I gave her the option of what colour she would like the covers in and she chose red because I now have a rather lovely selection of different colours of book cloth for covering journals. So as you can see, this one is um, the standard size that I like to make, which is the six and a quarter inches by eight and three quarters. So it's a nice, decent size. The spine, as you can see, has got spine ridges um, and is about two inches thick. Nice and, nice and sturdy. So um, it's got a ribbon closure. Again, I've only done it, um, not done it through and underneath the book cloth. I've done it so that if you want to change it, you can swap it out for a more appropriate one if you don't like the ribbon that I've supplied. So I'll show you what is actually included in. So I'll just open up. So on the inside front cover, I've got some nice kind of arts and crafts paper, and I've got an insert photograph of Elizabeth's dog. Um, this is Poppy. So I asked Elizabeth to send me um, a photograph of her dog and I've actually put Poppy on the inside front cover. Now all of the signatures in this journal, there are five signatures and they all have um, vellum as the first page. And as I did with my previous one, each one of the signatures has a file tab across the top to make it easy to open and identify where you are in the journal. Um, but on this one, it's the first time that I've actually also included a ribbon bookmark in matching colour to the actual covers itself. So, and that's joined at the header or behind the header, secured nicely so that'll never come out. So I'll just flip back to the beginning of the signatures again. So all stitched in with the book cloth. Like I said, you've got vellum and then a nice mixture of papers, all with some doggies um, digi stamps on each of the pages so all different breeds lots of different note papers so we've got blanks we've got lined we have some nice little um atc size cards with little decorative backs with all kinds of different breeds so these are vintage images in all tea dyed papers again with different doggies so if they're on the, the right hand side, they're looking in. If they're on the left hand side, they're looking in that way. We've also got some graph papers, some little stamping, and also we have some little tags that fit that sit inside these little these little pockets or envelope pockets. So you can do little bits of journaling notes or whatever you want to do, little hidden messages. Lovely little, almost like Mr. Bentley, that one. So lots of nice mottling on the papers. Different breeds all the way through. We've got different types of papers, as I've said. And I've also included a little bookmark in this one. Now, Elizabeth Scottish. So we have a little um, West High, or a little terrier, if you like, a Yorkie terrier or a type of terrier playing the bagpipes. So I thought she might like that. And then as we go through, there's more of these ATCs attached to little page clips that you can take out. Lots and lots of space for writing, journaling in. Um, it's standard weight paper. So it's standard printer or photocopier paper um, that has been pre-printed using my Epson um, inkjet printer, but the ink is permanent. So if you're interested, it's the WF2630. Uh, and it uses the um, Durabrite ink, which has a resin in it, which means that once it's dry, it's permanent. So you can put whatever you want over the top of it. So if Elizabeth wanted to add matte medium or some gesso in here, uh, then she could do because these won't run. 
none of the lines will run. And that's the end of that first signature. And again, like I said, I put a vellum wrap on each one. So and again, there's still space between the signatures if you wanted to add an elastic, um, like a Midori kind of thing to add extra sheets in if you want to. This, in between each of the signatures, I have left pretty much enough space for you to be able to do that. So signature number two, again, wrapped in vellum. This time with different doggies throughout. Plenty of note paper, more of the graph paper, different doggies, again, plenty of space. Home is where my dog is, love it. Another little pocket there, There's nothing in that one. So still space for you to add extra bits and pieces. I think every single one, every other one has got something in. I love the variation in the colors of the papers. Even on the back of one, it's darker or lighter than the other. Nice vellum. So again, plenty of writing space, plenty of different doggies featured throughout the journal. All sorts of different ones. There's that centre, so you've got your bookmark page, page marker. Nice kind of wrinkly paper. Another little doggy journal tag. More little ATC type cards with different doggies. As you can see, got lots and lots of space for journaling, writing, taking notes, writing down memories, using as a diary perhaps even if you wanted to, or just writing down thoughts and jottings, even maybe even dog related. <laughs> Doggy diary. Love it. Some of these images are absolutely adorable. I have stamped in here as well using a Graphic 45 dog kind of theme set. Now Elizabeth did actually say to me obviously that she wanted to make sure that um, there was her breed of dog in there. So obviously putting the actual photograph of her dog in there, her baby. But she also asked for a photograph uh, or at least a picture of, of Mr. Bentley to go in here as well. So somewhere in here, there is a little pocket with a tag that I've included <laughs> of me and Mr. Bentley. And on the back of that, I've just written handmade by me and then the date. So she can either take that out and throw it away or she can keep it if she wants to. So there you go. Now in the back, obviously we've got more pages. <clears throat> I've actually included a photograph of Poppy. And then back pocket has one of those invisible pockets again that you can't really see until you stick something in. There's a couple of larger tags on there Lucky Dog and It's a Dog's Life. And I've also included a little Ex Libris book plate that Elizabeth can then either write her name or put her initials on the back if she wants to. So that was the commission for Elizabeth in Scotland. I really hope she'll like it. I'll just tie that off. Not over embellished enough space for you to be able to play and turn it into a journal that's completely and utterly her own. And obviously there's the book plate on the spine that she can also write and then stick down if she wants to, change it to whatever she wants. So there you go. One completed journal. I'd also like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels without whose generosity and support these videos would not be possible. Thank you.